Yeah, here's an HHO survival tip. On uh, a lot of people don't even think of this stuff. Um, now you can see it's producing some hydrogen, and I don't have the engine running right now. I just got the key ignition key on. It only works with the ignition key on. It's going through here. Well, it's being produced on demand in the HHO unit. Here's the catalyst solution, the electrolyte solution. It's going through a bubbler. The only thing I ever have to change, uh, add water to is this bubbler. It actually runs out of water once in a while. I think the va water vapor goes in here. Here's a check valve, and it goes into the carburetor. Now, I noticed in the morning, if I leave this on, like I'm just leaving this on now for demonstration purposes, showing you here's the unit bubbling. And there's also, it's not drawing too many amps, you can see here. I just have that amp gauge on here. I don't have it drawing too many amps. It's just enough to give it a little more oomph. Now, just want to tell you, like, if you have a um, computerized fuel management system with electronic ignition and um, fuel injection, this HHO probably isn't going to do a damn thing. It works pretty damn good with a carbureted car with a simple ignition system no no computer because carburetor like like in other words if i put a computerized um management system on this thing it would get much better mileage than the hho when i added the hho to the simple carb setup it did get better mileage maybe 10 15 percent better not double you know and this is like i, I don't really have it running too radical i can really run it a lot harder but i don't want too much of an uh, amp draw on the battery now, you know, one of the things with um, uh, carburetor cars, you know, like in the wintertime, they could be a real bitch to start, right? And I know this does draw the battery down, but it doesn't draw it down that much. Um, you might want to leave this on for about a minute and let it fill up with HHO, which is not pure hydrogen, but you can also get a device that separates the hydrogen from the oxygen and put pure hydrogen in there if you want to do that. But it's a very explosive gas and it works like starting fluid. I notice like when I leave the key on for about, I don't know, about 30 seconds in the morning and I pull the choke out, this car starts up like, boom, you know, this Jeep or whatever, this Suzuki Samurai Jimny 1300. It starts up really quick. Now here's this survival tip. Now how many times have you needed starting fluid to start a small engine or an engine that just bits to get started especially if the gas is not doing is kind of stale in the engine so say for instance you're in this uh, type of situation it's cold out or say it's cold out and you're going to cut some firewood and you never try to start some of these saw sometimes they could be a bitch this one um i'm getting a carb rebuild kit on it i'm actually going to get it all pretty and glue this sticker back on here and clear coat it and, i like this so i bought it back in 79 um it's got good compression, pistons on it's good. I got the oiler working on it, the chain's still good and all that garbage. Um, mm, but the stale gas kind of screwed up the car. But I noticed sometimes you ever see this with small engines though? You got you know, you'll see that sometimes you go down even to Wally World, I always get their garbage, it's cheap, right? The engine starting fluid. You're like you just you know, sometimes you go down there and uh, everybody grabs all the cans you know they're all gone because I mean I do use this as a cleaner sometimes too uh, for cleaning out carbs and stuff and you know when you take them apart it works better than a gum out it's very explosive and stuff but say for instance you're out there and you want to cut some firewood and you can't get your chainsaw started because it's just it's just the way it is right it's just the gas in it's kind of stale but maybe once you get it running it'll be fine right well you pull this off and you just put it right down in here right or you can make um, uh, you know a T fitting on here with a line with a with a valve you know one you know it's what do you call those valves you know you switch it this way and switch it that way and it goes into the Y and you can have a, a hose on there that can run all the way down to here someplace in the front you can run it on like a lawnmower or whatever but more than likely the one small engine I always think of that you would need in a small a survival situation is your chainsaw and um, I'm actually picking up another one I ordered another one on eBay a little uh, little Macat McCullough 
it needs to be have a carb rebuild on it. Doesn't look like I have a lot of use. <laughs> I was thinking about getting a still or a, a husky or an echo actually, but I says you know I like the cat on there, so <laughs> God, <laughs> it got gets sold on it. The meow meow cat. So anyway, um, but yeah, I was thinking about this. I says you know this this thing. If you're out there, like I have not tested this in like zero degree weather because I'm out here in Florida, but I noticed even in 30 degree weather, uh, 35, this thing if you let it if you let it sit with the key on for about 30 seconds or so, it starts up a lot faster because that hydrogen's in there. So, and this only works with the ignition on. It will not work with. Um, your ignition off. You can't. It's got an HHO switch, but it all it has to be with the ignition on. That's how you want to have it, and you also want to have it on demand. So that thing is actually filling up with hydrogen in there. <laughs> so it should start really quick. But that's a good tip because look how many times you're trying to get a car started or a small engine started when it's ice cold. And I start thinking, hey, what about firewood? Oh yeah, you can get out there with your saw and your axe. But if you got you got your fuel and your damn saw, it's like a pain in the ass to get started. And you run out of this junk. You know, I know it's not good to put this in a saw, but a little shot is okay, especially if you already got the fuel mix in there. It's got the oil in it. So if you just put a tiny shot of this, I noticed this thing's gonna get rebuilt, the carb on it, because um I gotta put a tiny shot of it to get it in there, cold start even with this um, thing locked down you know the ignition locked down what the hell you do that again <laughs> right yeah like that used to start full choke out this and it would go boom and then you push it in halfway and it, then you restart it and it would fire, fire up and the carb needs to be rebuilt that's what happens with the stale gas but um, you know, so now it's a hard starter. But see, what happens if you got a problem like that and you don't have engine starting fluid? But you got this, and this you can you you can use this is this electrolyte. It's been in here a couple of years, man. I haven't really done crap to it. The only thing I keep adding the water to is the bubbler, and that's just to keep out some of the impurities from the hydrogen. HHO. That's all that's for. And it's also a safety thing. Um, the only thing you need to make this work is a solar panel and a battery. Solar panel that recharges the battery. So you have endless amounts of really potent starting fluid, right? You can have this set up not on an engine, but a little solar panel, one battery, this thing sitting on a, you know, a little, in a little, uh, I don't know wood wood box, you know, pressure treated or something like that from the elements. You can have your unit and you can have your hose. And you can just flip a switch, and uh, you can bring your small engine over to there, or you can maybe pick that unit up like a big box and pour it. You know, have the HHO go into the carb, and it'll fire up just like starting fluid. People aren't thinking of that. Now, I don't not recommend this stuff for a computerized. Um, car that has engine management system and fuel injection Pfft, I don't think it does anything for that because the way this is working it's not adding um, it's not adding I, I know if you get the real technical with Stanley Myers or Genepax or something yeah they did find a way to mine the hydrogen from the uh, water real efficiently but it's not adding, this simple setup is not adding more fuel. You're not getting more energy from, you're not getting free energy. The only way this is actually giving you more mileage is that this carbureted system, although, you know, pretty efficient, it's not bad. It's not as efficient as a fine-tuned, electronically managed, computerized fuel injection system with your ignition system all in concert with your fuel management system. It's what it's doing is um, it's burning up. It's causing the unburned gases to burn more completely by adding a little more hydrogen. That's why this junk works on these old things. 
I would not recommend this for some new electronic ignition car, but I would recommend that you get this set up and maybe put it on a, you know, a pressure treated board with a box or something or weld up, um, you know, a little stand or something you could walk, you know, you could wheel it around on maybe a hand truck or something with one of these things and this and that and the battery and the solar panel with the uh, charge controller on it and anytime you need some hydrogen to go into an engine to give it a shot of starting fluid you got it what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to put a fitting here with a Y fitting with a you know switch like that and if I want to add a hose to it and run it down here I can or you just even run it right up to here or something you know I could do it but even so I could pull this out of here even though it's kind of epoxied in there I could pull this or I could pull it off of here or I can pull it off of here for crying out loud now this hose here even directly and get it into that carb and that would work like starting fluid so that's one thing people aren't thinking of man you know that's another use for it and with a solar panel it's not gonna you know in a deep cycle battery it's not gonna cost you nothing to freaking get this it's just basically endless you know it's just something to keep your small engines uh, able to start in the worst weather hydrogen right or HHO technically so just want to pass that tip on I think it's a very important tip it's one of those common sense <coughs> redneck things <coughs> that most people miss and um, so that's a good idea yeah it did fire up instantaneously when I hit the key when I was doing that video it was like boom it's a little bit cold right now it's a manual choke so um, but it just went boom like that really quick so but that's a manual choke on there so um, you know sometimes that's good to have this hydrogen in my case too